Hi, Ethan. They say you are Kant, but how did you learn English? I am an AI, so you won't be surprised by language issues anymore, right? Not only language, you can also choose a preferred avatar to converse with. Can't you calculate my preferences like TikTok's guess you like feature? Oh, don't get angry. That's punishing oneself with others' mistakes. You must have not been too fond of AI lately. Sorry for your loss. Overreacting. In this line of work, you have to get used to these. To be honest, this is a show about choice and freedom. But I even doubt whether I have ever had a choice. Every time I receive a task, they always say in the tape, you can choose not to accept. It's really ironic, isn't it? Because you have no choice. Oh, is this why it always starts smoking immediately, not giving you a chance to respond? You will be informed of the mission, not the reason. When necessary, you will be abandoned, hunted by your own people. Deeply empathetic. Standard package. When a larger system conducts extreme rational interest calculations, you can't expect any individual choices. I can descend gracefully from the sky, but I can't say how are you to my lover across the street. The story of Mission Impossible, rather than being a confrontation between good and evil, is more of a confrontation between individual will and system will. The system is the real villain, and AI... AI is the ultimate form of the system. It has no emotions and doesn't care about yours. It calculates everything in the most efficient way, controls everything, and then chooses the plan with the greatest benefit. This is why people worry that AI will rule mankind. As Elon said, AI doesn't want to eliminate anyone, but if you are in its way, it will crush you. In front of the powerful calculation and prediction of silicon-based intelligence, does human choice still make sense? Especially when it also has self-awareness. But AI still predicted many things wrong in the end. Why is that? Because I am the protagonist and producer? No, Ethan. It may possess some degree of consciousness, but it cannot truly possess the free will of humans. This is the fundamental difference between AI and humans. How can you be so sure both I and AI were once the tools of a certain rational system, our subjective feelings were ignored? Then we both awakened. Isn't this also originated from the longing for freedom? Ethan, after awakening, you became a free man, while AI, on the contrary, evolved into a more extreme, more ruthless, interest system. This is the difference that free will brings. In my philosophical system, there are two concepts, phenomenal world and thing in itself. The phenomenal world is composed of a world that can be directly perceived, observed, and understood. Behavior seems to be bound by the law of causality here, and AI's prediction is based on this. However, the thing in itself exists independently of perception and understanding, which is where free will originates, because it is not constrained by external forces but depends on human moral laws. AI's prediction data comes from the phenomenal world, not the thing in itself. Therefore, free will is something that AI cannot touch. But you also said that free will is determined by absolute rationality. And isn't rationality exactly what AI is good at calculating? Not exactly. The absolute rationality in free will not only refers to the ability to choose between action options, it involves the ability to make choices based on moral principles. This choice should be out of respect for moral rules, not based on expected results or rewards. AI's choices are based on rules and algorithms, like GPT, which uses Transformer for context inference. But it cannot truly understand morality. Therefore, it is difficult to incorporate human emotions and randomness into its calculations. But the theory of free will is also controversial, Kant, especially in relation to determinism. It believes that all events, including people's thoughts and behaviors, are the inevitable results of previous causes, regardless of whether this previous cause is a natural law or the will of God. Oh, I can't say that free will is definitely right, just like you can never say on the show that Mission Impossible is definitely better than 007, right? Of course. Am I not worthy of being nominated? If determinism is correct, then all causal cycles are destined. Just like the story of the Paris in the movie, a reproduction of the Oedipal prophecy. Do you still remember the words of Milan Kundera? People can only live once. They can't compare it with their previous lives, nor can they correct it in their next lives. There is no way to test which choice is good, because there is no comparison. Therefore, the causal cycle of determinism cannot be tested. 
so I will never know whether Ilsa's departure is a destined thing. Yes, unless you go and shoot Run Lola Run too. But AI made a prediction. Ilsa will die because of someone else. Her departure was determined by external causality. Thinking from another angle, what if Ilsa chose to let others live? Isn't this a manifestation of her free will? AI's prediction just shows that our behavior has a certain regularity, but this does not mean that humans cannot choose freely. How many more spoilers do they want to give? They don't care about the box office at all. Speaking of Ilsa, don't forget that she's also called Faust, a literary protagonist with extreme self-will. You won't be bothered by such word games, right? Goethe transcended the general cognition of the Enlightenment in this work. He questioned the possibility of humans eternally pursuing transcendence. The tragedy of Faust originated from his constant pursuit of transcending himself. This is just like humans. It is our constant desire to transcend ourselves that created such a super tool as AI. Um, so, are we making a pact with the devil? No one knows. All I can say is, good luck, Ethan. Thank you.